ناظرین ویلکم بیک ناظرین یورپین یونین اور پاکستان اس حوالے سے گفتگو کرنے کے لیے ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں ڈاکٹر پیٹر لہر جن کا تعلق سینٹر فار سٹڈی آف ٹیررزم پولیٹیکل وائلنس یونیورسٹی آف سینٹ اینڈریوز سکاٹ لینڈ برطانیہ ویلکم ٹو دا پروگرام ڈاکٹر پیٹر لہر پروفیسر پیٹر لہر ان ون آف یور ریسنٹ آرٹیکلز اینڈ ان دا سروے وچ کنڈکٹڈ بائی کمیونٹی اٹلانٹک کمیونٹی آرگنائزیشن یور ایگزیکٹ ورلڈز آر یورپ شوڈ بی پریپیئرڈ فار دا آپشن آف اے ملٹری ٹیک اوور ان پاکستان وچ مائٹ پرووائڈ بیٹر اسٹیبلٹی دین دا ڈیموکریٹک پاتھ so uh, here in pakistan it is being considered that uh, you know we we fought for democracy and finally we have got it in uh, 2008 after departure of musharraf now how do you justify that uh, for a better pakistan and pakistan's role uh, a better role in the world uh, how do you think how will justify that another military takeover will improve the situation in pakistan Well, you see, uh, a military takeover is not, uh, uh, is not something that we are in the European Union looking for. It's just that we might have to, uh, uh, to choose between a stable and secure Pakistan and uh, democratic Pakistan. And at the moment, in my opinion, it looks like uh, that the democratically elected government is uh, not that competent in fighting against terrorism. You see, it was a bit inauspicious that the government of President Sadari and Prime Minister Gilani started with infighting. So that doesn't all go well for the future if the government is more uh, occupied with itself than uh, with its surrounding. A military government, as uh, deplorable it may be for uh, democracy, is in a time of crisis sometimes, at least for time being, the better instrument. I, I must say I'm a bit biased in favor of uh, former President Musharraf, uh, who I've met in Islamabad during his first tenure, and he seemed to be quite capable of uh, coming to terms with terrorism. Uh, it was maybe not longer the case in his second term of office, uh, but uh, still, if you see, if you want to have a stable and secure Pakistan, you might have to fall back on the two institutions that guarantee the security and safety of Pakistan since uh, independence, and that's bureaucracy and military, uh, whether you like it or not. Uh, well, uh, Professor Peter, uh, uh, you, it's an academic discussion uh, that uh, the present uh, situation, the political chaotic situation in Pakistan, it traces back its roots in uh, uh, the military rule, which I have uh, time and again uh, uh, came over Pakistan. Uh, That's three... right, Naeem. I couldn't, I, I can't hear you at the moment uh, at all. Uh, well, I will please... repeat the question. Uh, yes. It is being said that uh, uh, the Pakistan is uh, in the chaotic political situation right now it is due to uh, the military rules which which uh, which have successively came in pakistan and deteriorated and damaged the whole uh, uh, civil institutions so on one hand the present political uh, chaotic situation is ascribed uh, and it it has its roots in uh, martial laws now will another martial law uh, how can it justify that it will improve